Hi guys, it's Sean Lee White back again with another video and today I'm going to be showing you my updated setup tour. Now obviously a lot of stuff has changed, I've actually moved house completely and this is my entire- Who the fuck are you? Get out of my house. <laughs> Fucking weirdo. Okay, obviously that isn't actually my setup but a lot of my setup has actually changed since that last setup video and uh, I thought I might as well showcase it, show you guys what's new and everything. Uh, also, I'm going to get this out of the way right now. I don't do these setup videos to show off or brag. I do these setup videos because I want to just basically show you guys and inform you on how I make my videos because YouTube is obviously everyone does it differently. That's what I love about it. It's very unique and everything. But I'm not bragging or I'm not trying to show off. I think YouTubers who show off their material possessions in a braggy way are just shallow and showing it off because they've got no personality behind their camera or behind like, they've got no personality to them. Controversial opinion, I don't care, suck out. Also, I apologize for the mic quality again. I am using my phone. I'm trying to keep my hand at like something different but it's so I'm not covering up the microphone because that's one thing I've noticed when I do film these videos is that I accidentally cover up the microphone when I'm filming on my phone uh, so yeah let's just get into this so going around the room we've got my bookshelf full of random shit like the MLG glasses you guys have probably seen these uh, if you uh, have been around the channel for a little bit now uh, and obviously you saw them in the opening seconds of coffee if you watched that we I hope you did and now my dogs are barking but yeah just a bunch of random shit on here uh, my chest of drawers which is absolutely fubbernucked it doesn't even close uh, I need to get a new one but I haven't got round to it uh, yeah we have my coat wrap here with a bunch of hoodies and everything on it including the legendary ah shit the legendary dmc hoodie which is still my favorite hoodie of all time i still don't know why i just really f fucking like it going over here this is just a bunch of random shit dehumidifier to get to suck moisture out the air so there's no mold on my fucking roof uh my other keyboard that I use for recording, uh, I'll explain why I have two keyboards in a bit, but it's basically, uh, I'll summarize it really quick. That keyboard that I have over there is really loud and it picks up on the microphone, which if you watched Resident Evil Village speedrun video, which quick side note here, thank you for everyone who watched that video. The support on that video is absolutely insane and I cannot thank you guys enough for it. Uh, I want to do another speedrunning video. I think I'm going to do Outlast on insane mode. so. Keep an eye out for that when that comes out. Over here is just a bunch of like random shit like clothes bin and look, there's a bin with my dehumidifier in like box and a bunch of Dr. Pepper because I'm a fucking addict. Going over here, we got Titanic poster. This is just here because uh, I didn't really have many posters before and it actually covers up a hole in the wall. Yeah, because this is, this is like plywood, something like that. And I'm fucking, no, I'm not very technical with that sort of stuff. Finally, I've got my Red Dead Redemption 2 poster. If you guys have been around the channel for a little bit now, I have I said that I wanted one? I don't know, but I wanted a Red Dead poster for a while because Red Dead Redemption 2 is hands down my favorite game of all time. I absolutely love that game. Uh, I've done a full playthrough of it. Uh, if you guys want to go watch that and I've done a mods video recently that was really fun to do but yeah so I've got a poster signifying it it's a lot smaller than the last of us one but we'll get to that in a second DMC poster which just shows off the DMC logo a bunch of random information about me and everything that I got for my birthday a uh, bunch of game cases along the wall because it the reason that all this shit is in the background is because one one of the problems that I definitely had with my setup, one of the things that I wanted to change was my setup was very bare in the backgrounds and I didn't really like that because I don't know, it just looked it didn't look right. So I thought let's get a bunch of like cool gaming and film and TV related stuff because not only does it add to the background, but I don't know, it's just cool. I, I think it's really cool shit to have. I didn't want the posters to be tacky, so every single poster is framed. So it obviously loves like these Titanic posters. They're 
they're metal so they don't really need frames but the other ones i decided to get frames for so they don't peel or whatever and so if damage does occur it's just to the frame and not to the poster itself uh speak of the posters the last of us poster that's been here for a little bit now this poster is actually fucking massive like here is my hand next to the fucking logo it's it's stupidly big this poster i think the dimensions are like 61 by 91.5 or something it's a fucking massive poster but yeah i just got it because i like the last of us i couldn't get a red dead 2 poster that i liked that was big enough so that's why this one's a bit smaller more game cases here gta 5 mass effect 2 detroit become human my newest poster breaking bad because it is literally one of my favorite if not my favorite tv shows of all time along with top gear of course obviously the old top gear we don't like the new top gear new top gear bad boo we don't like it more game cases because i don't know my bookshelf was getting pretty full and i needed some stuff for the background another titanic poster here metal more game posters here bloodborne fucking love this game this is one of if not my favorite souls game of all time it's just so fucking good halo 2 on the original xbox i don't actually have an original xbox but i use backwards compatibility on xbox one resident evil village fucking love that game resident evil 7 was better if you watched my content you know that i prefer resident evil 7 over 8 but 8 is still an absolutely phenomenal game back to the future poster with uh, Michael J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd. Obviously, it's one of those Amazon ones. I didn't actually get this signed anywhere, but I absolutely love this film. It's literally my favourite film of all time. Assassin's Creed 2. Uh, Back to the Future films, because I love those films so much. Mm, table, um, like fold-out table. You guys would have seen this if you watched um, like my pumpkin carving video or some of my review styles video. I just keep it up here just in case I want to film anything and it sticks nicely between the desk and the bed uh i've got some more review style ideas like i want to do a video reviewing sweets and chocolate bars and etc so keep an eye out for that this table is the best it squeaks a little bit but it's fucking old what can you do now onto the onto the bit that everyone's probably clicked on the video for the main recording slash gaming slash wanking setup <laughs> playstation 3 it's not currently set up at the moment but i use this to play games like gran turismo 3 god of war 3 games like that and obviously the controller up here for it my oculus quest 2 haven't done heaps and heaps of vr but i still fucking love this thing i want to do some more vr videos i've got um i want to do a vr video about a golf game which I know it sounds boring, but I think it'll actually be really fun to do. And obviously, Help Wanted 2 and some more Beat Saber and content like that. Maybe some Blacktop Hoops with George, if he can be asked to teach me. Uh, if you don't know what Blacktop Hoops is, it's a, like a basketball game that George has done a video on. So if you want to go uh, watch that, I'll link his channel in the description. TV, this is actually a new TV that I got off a mate of mine for... Uh, a tenner, well, 50 quid, but I found 40 quid on the floor, but we don't talk about that. Xbox controller, now this is actually a new Xbox controller because my old one was absolutely battered and fucked and literally st stopped working. Like, I think like the bumper button was like lodged or something, so every time I would turn it on, it would instantly scroll down for some reason. So I was like, fuck it, I'll just get a new one. And one thing I love about this controller is it uses USB-C. Unlike like the PlayStation 4 controller, which uses micro USB or something like that, I can't remember. But I fucking love this controller. Double A batteries for Xbox controllers because they use a lot. PlayStation 4, love this fucking console. Uh, I obviously play games like Destroy Become Human, God of War Ragnarok, Uncharted 4, etc. Controller for it. Uh, my watch. Now that usually, obviously, as you can see, would be on my wrist, but I forgot to charge it last night, so. Uh, I need to charge it up now, but it's just a generic 30 quid watch, but I use it every day and it's fucking incredible. Xbox 360 and a spare PS4 controller. Uh, literally my favourite console of all time. I fucking love this thing. Haven't obviously played tons of games recently on it because I don't really have any games that are significant enough to play. Maybe I'll go back and do another 360 video. I'm not sure. Uh, controller for it. This isn't actually my 
original Xbox 360 controller. This is a new one uh, that I got from Kex or CEX or Sex, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Uh, I should mention, by the way, a lot of this stuff is secondhand, which I know some people go like, oh, why are you getting all it secondhand? Why not just get it firsthand? Because it's more expensive and a lot of this stuff, it's never done me wrong. So I don't personally see a problem with buying secondhand. I know a lot of people do, but fuck it, it's your money. <laughs> Elgato HD 60S Plus. This is what I use to record all my console gaming for all of these, apart from this one, because this one's a bastard. You have to run it through a splitter. Like PlayStation never think about copyright. So, I have to run this for a splitter, then run that into Elgato, so I can record it. This one has just got a setting that I need to turn off, and the PS5 does as well. Spare camera battery for my new camera, which we'll get to in a second. Hold your fucking horses. Uh, Quest 2 controllers, very good. That's just a two-brush charger, if you're wondering. Because I know I'm British, right? And I don't brush our teeth. I know you're very funny, but no, I have beautiful pearly whites or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Xbox One S, probably my most used console, uh, I mainly use it to watch YouTube, but uh, obviously my old GTA Online account's on there, and everything, my Sean poster, it's got my name on it, that I got like a bajillion years ago from Ireland, I, if you say, I, if any of you say that I pronounce Ireland weird, then go for it, I don't really care, obviously this is my Alexa, this thing, ugh, don't turn on that, shut the fuck up, I don't, I don't care, but one thing that I think is I got one of those smart bulbs. So if I went Alexa, light green. Okay. It turns my entire room green. I don't really like using the colours for it because I think I've said this before. I don't like setups that are absolutely covered in like LEDs or like fluorescent lighting like this because it looks too artificial and it doesn't really look nice. I don't really like it. I mainly just got one so I can switch lights on and off so alexa light white okay. thank you very much now this is actually a bunch of soundproofing that i got obviously as you can see i'm not the best at putting up there's a lot of creases but it sounds fine now there's actually a couple of reasons why i decided to get soundproofing obviously the main reason because it improves on oh sorry my fingers in the way great camera up there lil is to improve mic quality because obviously sounds will stop bouncing off and Soundproofing really does make a difference. I didn't realize how much of a difference it made until I got it. Like, if I went out into the corridor and came back, like, the audio quality would be so much better in here compared to out there. But another reason why I got soundproofing is because it breaks up the room a little bit. Because I don't know if many of you guys know, but I don't really like this room. This room isn't ideal. It's very small. It's very cramped. It's very... It's just not the best, but I work with what I got. Like, in an ideal world, I'd have my bed and set up in two different places because it's a nightmare trying to sleep with, like, all these lights on and things like that. But what can you do? I'm not rich, so I can't afford, like, a new house or whatever. But it breaks up the room a little bit, and it just adds something new to the room, like, visually. Because, obviously, a lot of this stuff is, like new but it's like it's not one of those visual changes that you really see so i got the soundproofing to kind of help with that uh now we're on to like the pc area starting with my absolutely battered office chair which has a bunch of holes and a back to the future pillow in but yeah we've got a spare phone that i use for like a lav mic that didn't work cheers for that but we got my monitors i got two of them i got rid of the third monitor because i didn't really need it um, I think if I, I think three monitors is good, but the monitor I had was actually not a monitor. It was like a small TV, so it didn't really make much of a difference. Um, I think these monitors, they're both 1080p, and I think, I know this one's 60 hertz, but I don't know if this one's 60 or 120 or 144, however, I'm not entirely sure. There's probably a way I can find out, but I can't be bothered. Basic, generic speakers. My desk is so... Incredibly messy because I don't know it just is uh, My ring light which just Flash banged you guys, but yeah my ring light. Uh, it's a bit battered, but it still works It still works. It's got a small little cracking and everything, but it works. It works. It works uh, Now this is actually my old webcam if you guys watched the previous setup This is what used to be here 
But I decided to get this new camera because along with like the stuff in the background and everything, I think the webcam was fine as a face cam. But I w it was like the main thing I wanted to improve on because the quality wasn't the best and I didn't really like it. I think it was like, like the gameplay and everything looked really nice, especially ever since I upgraded my computer. But the face cam didn't look right and I, I wanted to upgrade on that. So, but this camera, I'm obviously, I don't really, I, I obviously need to use it more so I can get like, so I know it more and can get the settings perfectly right. But uh, this actually links down to a little cam link there and that goes into my computer so I can see when I'm recording and stuff. It's got an LCD screen, but I prefer just having it linked to my computer if I'm honest. But yeah, and this camera from what I've used of it so far is really good and really strong. And I, it's definitely a good camera. A bunch of random shit along the bottom here. Like, for God's sake, there's an M.2 drive here that I just haven't wiped. Uh, now, this is my main, main keyboard that's absolutely fucking filthy. God, Jesus. But um, this is my main keyboard. And the main problem I have with this keyboard is it uses green switches. And obviously, if you watched, as I said earlier, it appears a lot on camera and the clicks get very annoying. So I use th that keyboard to when I'm recording just so it doesn't pick up on the mic as much. But in an ideal world, obviously, I would get a different keyboard that's more silent, but I don't mind switching between the two. It's not very difficult. Uh, T Dagger Surgeon Gaming Mouse. This mouse is fucking phenomenal. I love this mouse to bits. It's actually really cheap and it the quality and shit it has is incredible. Basic generic mouse pad that I've had for a while now. Steel series headphones. I'm not exactly sure what the fucking brand is. I just store them like that because it's easy. Uh, this is my microphone. Now, this microphone is actually like a 50 quid something microphone that you can get on Amazon. And to me, I think this microphone is fucking phenomenal. This is obviously, in, this is a new stand that I got because the other one was fucked. But um, this microphone, obviously, it's not the greatest and it's filthy like fucking everything it's not the greatest but for a for a decently cheap microphone it is phenomenal and i absolutely love it to bits so on to the main like the guts and the glory of the channel my computer now it's actually on seat mode right now because i wanted to do like a cool turning it on and it all springs to life now i'm actually gonna fucking with my little cool focus. Last of Us background there. Now, oh god, I'm gonna get under the desk. Oh god, I fucking sound awful down here. As I said, I apologise for the mic quality again, but I don't really have a very good camera that I can film this on. So I'm just using my phone, and obviously I'm just using my phone's mic. Now, this is the main thing that I wanted to upgrade, because with this I could become more efficient, and the video quality is better, which... I think has come off a lot and I think my videos have definitely improved significantly and it becomes a lot easier to work with ever since I upgraded my computer. Now the CPU is a Ryzen 5 5600X and this CPU is fucking godly, I love it. One problem that I have with my old PC setup is that I would always get like encoding overload on OBS which basically means my CPU was being used to its maximum so the recording would become laggy and less quality and it become shitty and terrible which limited me to certain games but ever since i upgraded my computer that thing is luckily gone uh 32 gigabytes of corsair vengeance ram which definitely helps i didn't realize how much 32 gigabytes of ram would actually help until i got it um which is definitely helped with video editing and general gaming etc the motherboard is a B550M. It's just a really good budget motherboard. Uh, a one terabyte M.2 drive, which I store games like Red Dead Redemption 2. I think I have Resident Evil installed on that one. I'm not exactly sure. I have another SATA SSD there. Ignore the cable management, by the way. I can't be asked to cable manage. Like, you d well, from where I'm sat, you don't really see it, so it don't really matter. The side panel fits on. That's all that matters. Um, 
all in all this system has about six terabytes of storage on i feel really awkward saying this because i'm really not trying to brag i'm literally just trying to show and inform but I'm, I'm sorry if it comes off as that i'm bragging and everything I, I generally do not mean to but most of it is on hard drives um because hard drives are fine i don't really see a problem with them i mainly use it to store video footage anyway like most of my games are stored on the m.2 and the ssd but um onto the big boy the gpu now this gpu is the rtx 3060 and this gpu is a fucking monster this can handle any game i throw at it with incredible fps and when i'm recording i generally do not notice a difference um i cannot say enough like obviously it's not the best gpu out there but this if this is considered a mid-range gpu i really would love to see what the 4060 and 4090 can do because this gpu is a fucking monster and obviously i just got a little 650 watt power supply down here to power it all now if you guys saw my other setup video literally this is the same it's the same case and same power supply i pretty much upgraded everything besides case power supply and just getting more storage for it because i wanted to keep kind of like an area of familiarity and i generally do really like this case i know obviously the ventilation isn't the best but i i generally really do like this case and i think it's incredible for what it is and this computer is definitely the best the best purchase or the best use of my money that i could probably use especially for videos it improves the quality for you lot and it makes recording and editing on my end a lot easier and youtube is one of those things that i'm really passionate about and i want to continue it as much as possible so i thought fuck it let's just make my videos the possible best they can be in terms of visual quality the quality of the content has always been subjective but in terms of the gear i can only do the best i can and i, I definitely hope it's shown off and you guys have definitely seen a definite definite improvement but i think that's my entire setup again is that my entire setup yeah but i really hope you guys did enjoy this video and i would just like to end this video off by saying a massive thank you for all the support on the channel like it's been absolutely immense like the gta 5 mods videos the red dead redemption 2 speed uh the red dead redemption the resident evil village speed run has just been Im immense and i cannot thank you guys enough for that so i thought i might as well show you guys as like a little treat um how i make everything and i want to do another video where i like show you how I make a video, I'll try and make a video in an hour or something, but I don't know. I've definitely got a lot of ideas coming for the future, uh, and obviously, but my biggest factor is time. I obviously, YouTube isn't my full time job. I don't have enough time to dedicate it to it as I'd like to, but I definitely try my best, and I hope you guys do know that I try my best. But anyway, with enough of the soppy story and the speaking, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy it, please do leave a like, a subscribe would greatly be appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I can now walk on water. Like Jesus himself. Oh my fucking... Okay. Fuck you. I keep forgetting to turn on Never Wanted Citizens Report and...